<sighs> Alright, man. So, uh, this is, this world is really getting out of hand, bro. Uh, it's really getting out of hand. I don't even have any remorse. I don't even know what's the word to, what's the right word that I want to use for this. I don't even know. It's really getting out of hand. So, look. Earlier this morning, I was watching the news. Now, I normally don't watch the news, but I'll just talk to my mother. She watches the news. I just feel like the news just, I don't know. It's just so depressing. But I was watching the news, um, and I seen this. I seen this footage of a car straight going like 90, 40, 40. 40 is not even a, 90 almost to almost 100 miles per hour through a parade, okay? Now, I didn't know the real cause of the situation. I thought... I don't know, buddy. I thought buddy was just had anger. I don't know what happened. I don't know. But on the news, they said basically he was fleeing from a crime scene. Um, and it's just, bro, it's just sad, bro. It's just sad. So, look, we're going to go ahead and watch this video right here. This is five, five dead after car just flees straight through. Straight through, a, uh, I guess it was a Christmas parade. And dog, I'm just, I'm just like, I'm lost for words. It's like, man, this is ridiculous. People can't even have fun no more. People can't even have fun without some dummy want to ruin everything, bro. For real. People can't even have fun no more. You got just a random families and friends at a Christmas parade. And you want to flee straight through a Christmas parade because you're trying to flee from a freaking crime scene that you committed or however i don't even know what crime scene it was whatever it was you running from the police and killed five people in the midst of this bro oh my gosh oh my heart goes out to all the family that lost someone any loved one anybody that lost someone at this parade uh all my condolences go out to you so look we finna go ahead and start this video man uh, i'm really just lost for words you know but without further ado, man, hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow your boy on all social media platforms down below. Without further ado, let's get it. Hello and welcome to BBC World News. At least five people have died after a vehicle was driven through barricades into crowds taking part in a holiday parade in the city of Waukesha in the U.S. state of Wisconsin. That's according to the city's police department. Over 40 people are injured. Well, the city is about 30 kilometers west of Milwaukee, and the incident happened at around 4.30 p.m. local time. The parade had just got underway in the city center. Our North America correspondent, Peter Bowes, has this report. This was the scene seconds before the holiday parade in Waukesha descended into chaos and mayhem. All of a sudden, a red sports utility vehicle ploughed at high speed into a school marching band that was entertaining the crowd. The sequence of events was captured on video by the city's live stream of... Oh, oh my gosh, bro. Bro. Woo. Bro, I thought... Bro, I literally... I kid you not, I thought he was finna hit that little girl. Bro, my heart just dropped from my my heart, literally dropped down to my butthole. Like, I, I honestly, seriously sat here and thought he was finna hit that little girl. Bro, look how close this was. You can't tell me you didn't think he was finna hit that little girl, bro. It's kids out here enjoying their time, dancing, woo, 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 woo. And then you just see a, a car just straight at least, at least 80, 90 miles per hour. Through a parade, bro. Look how close the sequence of events was captured on video by the bro. From the angle it looked like it was going, if that baby was out the street just a little bit more dancing, bro. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. City's live stream of the parade and on the mobile phones of people there in person. Much of it quickly shared in social media. Horrified and screaming, the onlookers, bro, I'm getting chills, bro. Children, like, I'm fled for their bro. Life. I'm literally holding back to bro. I'm getting chills, bro. Like, I, I, bro, I swear, this is not fake. This is, bro. I'm literally getting chills, bro. Hearing people scream because it had to have been their family member, somebody who just got hit. This is, bro. This is sad, though. This is real life sad. Lives as the SUV sped off. The vehicle struck more than 20 individuals. Some of the individuals were children and there were some fatalities as a result of this incident. We will not be releasing information on fatalities at this time while 
We are working on notifying the family members of the deceased. Police say an officer fired his gun at the vehicle to try to stop it. Officials say no bystanders were injured as a result. The car has since been recovered and one person is in custody. The authorities have not given any indication of a possible motive. Today our community faced horror and tragedy in what should have been a community celebration. I'm deeply saddened to know that so many in our community went to a parade but ended up dealing with injury and heartache. The White House says it's more you know the you you know something that I learned. The messed up part about life is not it's not the fact that we all die. We all die, but the messed up part about it is that you never know when you're gonna die. It's like some of them people woke up in the morning thinking they finna have a blessed, prosperous, happy day. Oh yeah, we're going to a parade. Come on, get the kids, let's go, let's have fun. You know, it's Christmas, Christmas season coming out, it's getting cold, it's starting to snow. Well, I know where I'm at, it's starting to snow. I'm in Chicago, it's you know, little snowflakes in. They just trying to have fun, but they they didn't even go to this to this parade knowing that half of them will even come back home that's just the messed up part about it same thing with the astro world thing half of them people went to that concert didn't know that someone was gonna come back home and that's just bro that's like the messed up part about life in general you never know when a person might leave you never know when a person like you never know that's why you gotta love your family with all your heart, regardless of what they do to you, regardless, you got to forgive and forget because at the end of the day, that could be the last day y'all see each other. And that last day y'all see each other, y'all have an argument. And that's going to break you because you're going to be, you're going to be beating yourself up like, man, I, the last words I said to him was never, never talk to me again, you know, or her, you know what I'm saying? It just, that, that, life is just messed up in general. Like, honestly, it's just messed up, bro. I'm just trying to figure out what was the point. Like, the at parades, it's barricaded. Like, you can't get through. They block off the actual street of getting in. So that way, you know, any cars or nobody won't come through. Dude, you had to just blow straight past the cones or whatever they had and get into that parade, bro. Monitoring the situation, and the FBI is helping the local authorities with their investigation. Reports suggest the suspect was fleeing another scene, possibly a knife fight, when he ran into people at the parade. This was the town's first holiday parade after months of restrictions because of COVID, but it ended in tragedy. Peter Bowes, BBC News, Los Angeles. Well, in the last hour, Peter Bowes has given us this update on the situation in Wisconsin. City officials have tweeted that five people are confirmed to have lost their lives and more than 40 people were injured. And they stress that those numbers could change as they continue their investigation. We're also hearing from CBS News, the BBC's partner here in the United States. And they um, refer to a conversation with a law enforcement official who is familiar with the investigation, saying that the suspect in this case may have been fleeing from another scene possibly a knife attack when he encountered or he or she not defined, not defined whether that person then met the parade and they are saying therefore that terrorism isn't being looked into as a possible cause at this stage and that does put the situation in a slightly more different light to what had been previously feared that this event this that this parade had been deliberately attacked now just to stress the investigation still in the very early stages and the police say that uh, when dawn breaks in a few hours time they'll be holding another news conference to uh, provide some new information peter bowes there well the bbc has been speaking bro this is honestly a messed up situation the fact that people can't even enjoy themselves without some idiot wanting to ruin something, bro. You're fleeing from whatever you did. First of all, I don't understand why people have so much hatred and so much negative things on their heart. I don't get it. Why are you out here knifing people? Like, whatever you was doing, why? The whole point is why. Five people lost their lives. 40 people were injured. 45 in total. And the whole thing about it, they said kids was involved. So that means some kids probably injured. I, I pray and hope that no kids have got that are deceased. We losing kids left and right. They don't get a chance to see how 18 feels or even 21. They don't even get that chance. 
this is a messed up situation, man. Like all my condolences, my condolences go out to the families, friends, loved ones, whatever, who lost their lives at this at this event. Because honestly, bro, this was a happy event. This wasn't no demonic, no nothing. This wasn't no type of crazy event where people say, oh, you sacrificed. It wasn't none of that. This was an actual event that people was really just trying to have fun at. You know what I'm saying? That's it. That's it. That's all. People can't even have fun now. I don't get it, bro. I don't get it. I am done, bro. I'm done. I'm done off this video, man. Um, I don't even want to say I hope you guys enjoyed but, you know, hey, I'm still going to say it because it's my outro. <laughs> uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Follow your boy on all social media platforms down below. Um, this is this is sad, bro. This is sad. This is honestly sad, dog. Anyways, man. Yeah, it's been your boy, Pan. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.